Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing the full car breakdown and in detail predictions of um, the UFC London car, even though it's in Vegas, uh, the Apex. Um, it is a London card, lots of London fighters, or oh, lots of British fighters on the card, like Darren Till, Tom Aspinall. Um, Let's see others, Patty Pamlet, um, Molly McCann, Jack Shore, you know what I'm talking about, and all the European guy, uh, people, starting with, and um, there was a lot of cancel fights, but um, which is kind of annoying, especially uh, Paul Craig versus uh, Alexander Gustafson, I was looking really good, looking really forward to that, but I, I would have picked Paul Craig uh, if you really wanted to know. I would put Paul Craig probably by submission, just like Fabrizio Rune did. But um, I'm going to do the full card breakdown and in detail predictions. UFC Fight Night, Brunson versus Till. London kind of card, but it's in Vegas. Um, sorry for the car sound. I'm just recording this outside because it's more quiet, in my opinion. And uh, let's get straight into this. And comment down below if you want me to do more fight night uh, picks. I'm doing this because it's kind of, I kind of like it, you know. Um, starting with though, with the early prelim opener of Jonathan Martinez versus Mar Marcelo Rojo. Um, I think people say Mar Marcelo Rojo, Rojo, Marcelo Rojo, but I kind of like Ro Rojo. But Marce uh, Jonathan Martinez versus uh, Marcelo Rojo. I'm going to go with Marcelo Rojo, man. He's actually pretty good, if you think about it. Um, he's coming off a win, or a loss, actually, uh, to Charles Jourdain, which is fighting on this card. Jonathan Martinez, um, uh, Marcelo Rojo, um, looked good in that fight against Charles Jourdain, though. Charles Jourdain is not bad. He's actually pretty good. Marcelo Rojo looked pretty good in that fight. Could have won if it was a full count, but he took it on short notice. Before that, he's supposed to take on, like, County Barcelo or something like that. Um, I like Marcelo Rojo in this fight. Jonathan Martinez coming off a brutal KO loss to Davy Grant. It wasn't, like... Listen up. It was pretty bad. I, I like... It was like a, I think it was like a, like a big bot, like, I don't know, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but, like a big, like, I don't know, it's that one of KOs, you know, Davy Grant, um, not a bad fighter in the division, looked good against Marlon Vera in the rematch, uh, looked better than Sean O'Malley, I'd say, but, um, yeah, um, I think he's gonna, I think he, I think Marcelo Rojo is gonna go out there and look really good against Sean Martinez. Sean Martinez is pretty good. Look at against Thomas Almeida. Look at against Frankie Sainz. But both of those fighters I just said are not the same as they used to be. Thomas Almeida. Okay, to be fair, he did. Sean O'Malley did better against. Oh no, this. Okay, what am I saying? Um. Jonathan Martinez, he has this thing where he does, he makes it close with good people. Absolute can crusher of Jonathan Martinez. Now, he's still kind of a can crusher, not gonna lie. He could have won that Andre Yu fight, but like, whatever, he lost that. And Andre Yu, I know that doesn't, like, casual say, like, hardcore fans, as myself has won. It's still not a bad loss, but Henry Yule is just losing fights recently. Um, and he's coming off a loss to Davy Grant. Uh, Ping, uh, Ping Yang, Lu Eo. Um, it's not good. Berger Wuli, not good either. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I'm not even... I just lost to Andre Sukum Oh, my God. You got to be joking. Those fighters aren't the greatest. We're supposed to go, we're supposed to take on Nathaniel Wood. Uh, that 
was a harder matchup for him, but this is an easier one, but I still think he loses. Marcelo Rojo, good fighter. Jonathan Martinez fought absolute cans his whole career. Um, we Thomas Almeida, I just said. I'm going to go for Marcelo Rojo here by third round TKO. I think he gets it done. With the, I think he has it, bro. I know he got TKO'd against Charles Jordan, but he can get flatlined, KO'd, out cold. Just a TKO bodies to the body, you know. Marcelo Rojo, in my opinion, gets it done third round TKO, but he gets scrappy a little bit early. Um, and I'll say Rojo steals the second round barely and gets a third round TKO. Rojo gets it done. Moving on up the card. Dolce Langambula versus Mark Andre Barriot. I'm gonna go with Mark Andre Barriot, bro. He's Canadian. Ao. Um. He's a good fighter, man. Took a little bit of that height from Abu Zaitar. As we know, is Otman Zaitar's brother. Um, so look, took a little bit of hype there. And come, beat that guy, Oscar Piacota. And that's his name, Oscar Piacota. I know he got overturned, but like, we know what we, we know what we saw in that fight. Um, I like Dolce. I like Dolce Yumbua. I think he's decent. Um, beat Taquan Townsend. Um, nobody cares. Taquan Townsend is actually trash, and he doesn't know how to fight. Um, and I don't even know if he's still. I think he got cut. I don't know. I think that's why he's not fighting. But um. Marcus Perez is your only good win. And he made it complete. He made it close, bro. I know he won it. Dolce Lumbula, good win. He made it close. I don't know why he fought Michael Manenko Lyev after that. Um, after that, Duquan Townsend fight. Got front kick. Got front kick KO'd pretty badly. Uh, really badly. I can just hear like a snapping sound out of that. But, um. I think that Dolce Yenabula is not that good. I know he... I know that he's in a little bit... Like, he half guard against Marcus Perez, basically. But, like... That, you, Mar- you half guarding Marcus Perez when he makes his mistake. That makes me believe that you're going to beat Mark andre Barriot. That made it close of Christoph Jocko. That made it competitive of Sean Strickland. And that was beating your eye hall. The old, like, yeah. I feel like Mark andre Barrio is going to beat him here. And I'm actually going to say 29. You know what? I'll say 29 28 unanimous decision for Mark andre Barrio. But I won't be surprised if it's a 30 27 in there for Mark andre Barrio. But I'm going to say Dolce seals the first round. Being a little bit more, being having, he, I don't know if he has good cardio or not. I really don't really care if he does. Um, I know Mark Andre Barriot does good volume, uh, really good cardio, um, pretty good pace. I'm gonna go for Mark Andre Barriot here, and I'll go for him. I'll go for him by decision. 29-28. Won't be surprised if, if it's a 30-27, but I'm going to stick 29-28 safer. Moving on up the card, um, Charles Jourdain, I just said of him at the beginning of the card, versus Julian Arosa. I'm going to go for Charles Jourdain, man. But Arosa's got a chance, and people, lot of, everyone's picking Jourdain. I don't, no one's picking, no one is picking, no one is picking Arosa. And no one and no one and no one. And the reason why no one's picking him, and, and I don't know why, man, but Julian Arosa has been disrespected his whole career, basically. Um, everyone picked Sean Woodson to beat him. You know, Sean Woodson, that, like, lanky guy. Um, he ended up winning that one in a comeback on short notice. I think Charles Jordan is better than Sean Woodson. And, um, I, he KO'd Nate Landwehr brutally with, a, like, a flying knee. I think it was a knee. Yeah, it was a flying knee. Pretty badly, and people didn't say anything. And I said something. Good knee from Juno Rosa. Guys, KO. 
but like let yeah. his last loss to Sung Woo Choi got KO'd in that one but like give it to him I, no don't give it to him he got KO'd um He's a good fighter, Julian Rosa. A little bit of a questionable chin. I'll give him that. It's he has a good. He has a kind of questionable. He has a questionable chin. A uh, questionable chin. Um. I think Charles and Charles Jordan has a lot of explosive power, and that that needs and people see his highlight. That win over uh, I forgot what his name was. What's his name? Choi? It's not Sung Woo Choi. No, it's not him. Do Hu Choi. That's his name. Do Hu Choi. That win. That was a good KO. He beat him to the punch. Um, I really like. I really like Charles Rudy in this fight. My first. So, my call first round TKO for uh, Charles Rodin. I think he's really good, man. And he's supposed to take on Lor- Lerone Murphy. I actually probably, at first when that fight was announced, I was going to go with Murphy. But if this was like, if this was um, right now, I probably would have picked Jordan. Um, I think he's pretty good. Uh, I know he lost to Andre Feely, but he did pretty good against Andre Feely. And unlike Andre, uh, no, Daniel Pineda, I think he's going to go out there and win. I like, uh, I like Julian Rosa, but I think Charles Jordan KOs him pretty badly. Um... But yeah, Jordan gets it done. Moving on up the card, Jack Shore versus uh, L- Ludovic L- Ludovic uh, Sholinian. Um, I'm gonna go for Jack Shore. I think he's pretty good, man. I I I really like Jack Shore, man. I don't know who Ludovic Sholinian is, but probably in a few years I might know who he is. Uh, uh, Three years ago, I did not know who Jack Shore was. I might know who this guy is in probably a few years. Um, Jack Shore is a... He's something, man. He's something really good. He's undefeated, which is good to know. Um, I think he's going to put a clinic on this guy. A Shalinian guy. But, um, I don't know, man. I think Jack Shore would have defeated Saeed Nurmagomedov. No joke. I think he could have had a really good chance of beating him. And I probably would have picked him as well. I probably would have picked him to win. And then how is gonna I think he's gonna get I, I think he's gonna get a submission here, rear naked choke, second round, Jack Charm, in my opinion, gets it done. Look good against Hunter Adjur. And Hunter Adjur is pretty good, man. Um, I know he got KO'd by Brian Kelleher, but Brian Kelleher is really good. Um, in the grappling department and the striking department. I know the striking department what caused Brian Kelleher to KO Hunter Azure out cold. But, um... I know. Uh, Jack Shore, in my opinion. Good fighter. Beat Nahelen Nahelen Hernandez. Uh, beat him. More impressively, arguably, than Marlon Vera when they fought. Like... I don't know, man. I think Jack Shore gets it done. Look good against that guy, Aaron Phillips. He looked good against. Um, I think he's gonna look good here against uh, Ludov- Ludovic Selinian. I think he gets it done. Moving on up the card, the women's flyweight division. Uh, Ji Young Kim versus Molly McCann. This one's 50-50. I don't know who to pick. I'm going to lean more towards Molly McCann. And this phone game. Okay, I'm going to go into the shade because it's raining. Okay, there. Um, I'm going to go with Molly McCann. I like um, Ji Young Kim. It's pretty decent. But, like, you know... I think she has. I think Molly McCann gets it done. 
and stronger each and every round. Maybe one of the rounds I'll give to Jiang Kim, but overall, I think that, um, I think Molly Pican gets it. I'll say maybe the, maybe one of the rounds goes to Jiang Kim. Maybe the first round I'll probably give to Young Kim. Last two, Molly McCann gets it pretty easily. Molly McCann gets it done, but Young Kim has a chance. But and she might be an underdog. I don't even know if she's an underdog. Let's just check. Um, oh, it's even, but she's a slight favorite. Um, maybe Molly McCann ends up in the plus, but I don't know. Um, I think McCann gets it done. Uh, and go bet on McCann because I know she's probably going to win. She has highly more testosterone in her. Unlike Jiang Kim, McCann gets it done. Moving on up the card to the main card. Luigi Venerini is back. What's up, bro? You did terrible against Bresci M. I thought you kind of won it. Or it kind of was a draw, you know? But Luigi Venerini versus Paddy the Batty Pimlet. Down into the meat. I'm gonna go with Patty Pimlet here. I think Patty Pimlet is gonna go out there. Look good really early against Luigi Venomini. Mean, maybe it gets a little bit scrappy. You know, a little bit scrappy. <clears throat> and Patty Pimlet, in my opinion, gets I think it'll go scrappy. Luigi Venomini might get a little bit better of it. And he Luigi Venomini, listen up. Bet on Luigi Venomini by TKO or decision. There's no way he's submitting Benny Plymouth. Uh, but he might get TKO or decision. I might, maybe decision's a little bit better. But I don't see him even, I, listen, bet on Luigi Venomini if you really trust in him as a huge underdog and to steal the hype train of Patty Pimlet. But, and he might bounce back and for SEM, uh, just a boring fighter. Screw for SAM. Hate him. I hate for SAM. I hate him so much. Who is he taking on? Terrence McKinney? He's gonna get completely yeah, shattered in round one. Brooks and me. Just like Terrence McKinney did against Matt Carvola. Um I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with um Patty Killen. I think he's gonna get a first round submission. I think they're both gonna get scrappy. And I think this will be an immediate uh, first round finish, by the way. More like than a minute, like a minute and 59, let's just say. Um, I think Patty Pimlet, they're gonna both gonna get scrappy. Pimlet's gonna pull, uh, go against the cage, do good. Uh, maybe some foot stomps, who cares. Um, then do a hip toss. Then I think Vanamini's gonna do a mistake and get to it again. I think Patty Pimlet's gonna get like the, the, the body triangle thing. And I think he's gonna get the, a lock in the, uh, the arena good joke. And get it done over Luigi Venermini. This is so hard because it's raining and it's pissing me off. But who cares? Um, um, I think uh, Patty Pimlet gets it done. Patty the buddy. I think he gets it done. Um, I have such a bad impression. Scouser accent. Dallin Tail, mate. Dallin Tail. Karen Woodley. I'm not doing this right now. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, uh, Patty Pimlet gets it done. Moving on up the card, Khalil Roundtree Jr. versus Medus Pakalsis. Now, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Medus Pakalsis here. I like Khalil Roundtree. I don't. He's not gonna be anything, and he won't. And he's not. He can't go Kamsaki. But like. Who really cares about Gokan Saki? Go, I don't even know. If Go, it's Go, Gokan Saki. He was one and two or something like that. That's what I remember. He finishing, doing something good. He beat Eric Anders, dominated him. I think it was like a 10 7 round, first in MMA or something. Um, or UFC. I thought Medesis Bacasis won his last fight against Mikel Ozlechuk. I, I I thought he clearly won that. I think that was a robbery. Uh, and I act, and I'm a, and listen. I didn't record the picks then of UFC 260. I record. I started at 263, then 264, 265, and we're at 266. Um, 
crew will be my. I think it will be. Yeah, I recorded. I guess yeah, I didn't record it. Yet. But um, I picked my. I no, I didn't pick my dust. I picked Mikel's relationship. Mikel relationship by KO. I thought he was gonna win, but like. I thought he was gonna win, man. And um, I, I, and you can call me biased. You only really know because I didn't. I picked Mikel Hovzeshuk to win that. I thought he, I thought he got gifted a decision. But Kalsis lost to Jimmy Crew by KO brutally, and maybe this can be something because Cooler Roundtree does have a bit of power. But I'm pretty confident in this one. But. We'll see, man. You know, I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna beat Kuranchi. Kuranchi come off a loss to Martin Prakneo, but um, it's not like he just lost to Martin Prakneo. He was supposed to win that one and get Prakneo cut from the UFC, but that doesn't look too bad now. We thought Ek Valenueva was gonna beat Martin Prakneo, even though I said Prakneo would win that one. Um, I think he's gonna go out there and just win. Yeah, no, yeah, no, and you know, I think he's gonna be a uh, cool round tree junior of kicks, big good shots, do what he did against Mattel and Jake Chuck, but actually get the decision this time. Um, when he gets it, man. I think Modestus Pekowski gets it done. Moving on up the card. David Zawada versus Alex Morono. Now. I'm going to go with Alex Morono here. I think he wins it uh, pretty easily. But Zawada's a dog, man. And Zawada needs to be mentioned. Like, who's he supposed to take on? I'm checking who he's supposed to take on. Judge Kyle is a dog. I probably would have picked him to win that one, but... Anyways, Morono, thank you for saving the card. You're on short notice again. I like Alex Morono, man. At first, I really didn't care about him. I just, I just thought he was just some guy, some fighter. Really didn't care. Play a gatekeeper one day. Um. Okay. He kind of got lucky against Pettis. I know he. I'm, I'm, and you might be wondering why did why, why he lucky? He lost the fight. Yeah, Pettis got him last two rounds, but Pettis did something stupid, like a wheel kick or something. I forgot what it was. I'm going to watch it back, but he did like a stupid wheel kick or something, and he ended up on the ground. That was a little bit lucky and by Alex Morono. So Pettis clearly won that one, but Pettis not doing too good at PFL now, which kind of makes Morono look a little bit sour, you know? Um... Came back against Cowboy Cerrone. That was a really good win. But Cowboy, end of his career. If Morono can win this one, then he's legit. Well, today was a while that he lost to Fudgeon. Danny Roberts. Hot chocolate. What? Uh, Danny Roberts is trash. Uh, I... I think he's gonna... I think he's gonna beat David Zawada here. Land the better shots. Basically, do what he did against, um, like, he, not against Cowboy. I don't think he's first-round TKO, even though Cowboy was supposed to win that one. Morono is good, man, and I think he wins against David Zawada. Zawada looked good against Ramazani Meev, though, and he looked really good. And arguably could have won that one. I thought Meev edged it barely, but that could have been, uh, his, that could have been, could have been Zawada's win, but I think Morono gets it done. I like I like Morono. Okay, why am I in the city? Um, I think Alex Morono is gonna win here. Um, but yeah, you know, I I, I think he's gonna I think he's gonna go out there and just get it done. Find some good kicks. And some good punches, of course. 
be really technical. Do what he did basically against Max Griffin. And that doesn't look bad now because uh, like Alex Morono is pretty underrated, bro. People need to give him his credit. And basically what he did against Reese McKee, that's the guy I completely forgot. Um, I know he lost to Chaos Williams, but Abdul Razak Alessandid also brought well, even more brutally. And um, he just bounced back against Alessio DiCirico. Cut Alessio DiCirico and Joaquin Buckley. They're both crap. And dog water. And I want to... Oh, I can't swear on the channel. I can't. Um, oh, I hate both of them. Both trash. So, screw Alessio DiCirico and Joaquin Buckley. They're both crap. They're both dumb. And Kevin Holland is better than both of them. Screw Alessio DiCirico. Screw Joaquin Buckley. Screw both of them. They can both go have a fun. Just... I hate both of them. Um... I think he's going to win here against David Zawada. I'm going to say he's going to win by... I'm going to say he's going to win. I'll say decision. 29, 28, see Zawada steals the third round. But Morano's a little bit tired, but Morano will steal the first two. Morano wins, boys. Moving on to the Coleman event. Um... Tom Aspinall versus uh, Sergio Spivak. I'm going to go with Tom Aspinall, man. Uh, Tom Aspinall's... He's pretty good, man. He is really good. He's like an external game. I think he can be something. I think he's ranked, he's ranked, right? Yeah, he is. He's like around... Where? Who is, where is he? I need to see where he's ranked. Um, okay, where is it? Um, oh, bro, it's up here! Okay. I think he's ranked like 13. So if he does win, where's Spivak ranked? Oh, yeah, he's number 13, Spivak number 14. So it means like Serge. And guess what, guys? Sir, a Serge out, another Serge in. Let's go. If I pick Serge, okay. I'm picking Aspen though. I don't even know. How do you. Tom Aspinall. Tom Aspinall. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, I think it's so hard to see his last name. Aspinall or Aspinall. Like, I like Tom Aspinall. Like, for example, like Tom Aspinall versus... Tom Aspinall versus... Yeah, I like that better. I think Sergey Spivak would beat Sergey Pavlovich. Sergey Pavlovich, why is he still in the rankings? Get him out. Or cut him in the UFC like he did to Nico Montano. <gasps> But anyways, I'm going to go with Tom Aspinall. Both guys have a little bit of uh, beef. I think Tom Aspinall wins, man. And I think he should move around. Maybe move Blagoy Ivanov down one and just switch with Blagoy Ivanov. That's a bit better in my opinion. But listen, Spivak has a chance. I think he would. I think Spivak would beat Pavlovich. And I would have chose Aspinall to beat Pavlovich as well. But I'm going to go with Tom Aspen now. I think he's going to go out there and just did what he do what he did that Walt Harris did to uh, Sergey Spivak. Just do exactly that. Not exactly, but like, you know what I mean. Similar to that. Aspen now first round TKO. Moving on to the main event. Derek Brunson versus... And also, Aspen submitted Arlovsky, which is pretty... pretty Pretty good, and I know Lofty's winning pretty good himself lately. But anyways, moving on to the main event: Derek Brunson versus Darren Till. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Darren Till here over Derek Brunson, but I'm worried because Derek Brunson, not just because, uh, not just because I'm. I, I, I was pretty close to picking him here as an underdog. Nobody's picking Brunson. Everyone's picking Till for some weird reason. Um, I, I know he's the meme of talks, you know? I know he's the meme of memes. I want to see him Paul Costa. That would be pretty fun. But um, I think he's going to go out. I don't know why people are picking him. I 
think it's because it's Darren Till, the dude that lost to Tyron Woodley Darstroke. You know? But we'll see, you know? I think he's gonna, I think he's gonna win here against Derek Brunson. Brunson has a solid chance though, and people need to give it to him. I know people are Brunson. I know a lot, I know people are picking Brunson as well, but Darren Till, in my opinion, looked good against Robert Whitaker. Looked better than uh, Kenanier, I'd say. Maybe. He looked pretty. Darren Till looked pretty good. Actually, Ken. Okay, did Kenanier do something? Yeah, he landed good like it. He rocked in the end, didn't he? Oh, never mind. Yeah, Kenanier did better than, but he did better than. I know it was folk at short notice, but. Till did better than Gastelum against Robert Whitaker. And if you just want to argue about that, he beat Gastelum pretty clearly. Don't say robbery. I think Darren Till's going to go out there. Look prepared. If he doesn't win against Derek Brunson, he's nothing. And he should just quit. And they should just do Brunson versus Kenanier. I think they should just do Brunson. The winner of this one should take on Jerry Kinnear, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, you know. I just don't see how Brunson wins. And if Till, in my opinion, I'm pretty confident in him here. I think he's going to get... Uh, he's probably going to get... A TKO here, and I'm gonna say round one TKO Darren Till. I think he, uh, I'm gonna say round two actually. I don't feel so. Mm. Well, I'm sticking round two. Round two TKO Darren Till. I think he gets it done. I think Brunson, I think he's gonna lose the first round. Try to win. I'm gonna say end of round one. I don't care. I'm going to say end of round one TKO for Darren Till. Is Brunson's chin good or bad? I don't know. Quite if, the, if it's a round two TKO too, I, I'm, I'm, I got it wrong. I'm saying end of fudge. Ah, this is so hard. Brunson, you idiot. Your, your fights are so hard to predict. Ugh, fudge. What do I pick here? Oh, you're so annoying. Oh my goodness. You're so annoying. Fudge, man. I'm going for Darren Till. I think he's going to get a counter. Brunson's going to be losing the round. And he's going to rush in, get countered with like a big left hook. Um, probably like a, again, more against the cage, Adrian Yanez versus Gustavo Lopez-esque. But it's on the chin, um, not on the forehead area. But um, that's what I think it will be. Um, And I think it'll be at the end of round one. I don't care. End of round one. TKO. Darren Till gets it done. I think he wins it. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Um, drop a like on this video. Get this video to... Um, get this video to... You know, just get it solid. Get it to seven likes. Seven likes. And I'll do more... Get this video to 7 likes, and I'll do more Fight Night picks. Fight Night, UFC Fight Night. I'll do like a Smith versus Span Fight Night, you know? I'll do that. But, um, be sure to subscribe, turn on your post notifications. Road to 250 subscribers. We are going to get there. Please get me there by the end of the year. Please. I beg of you. But, um, yeah, um, I'm gonna go. Um, peace out, guys. Woo! Peace!